Hey there, and welcome to this look over my shoulder video. I wanted to shoot this video really quickly and touch on the um, pricing and bidding strategy a little bit further with you actually seeing it uh, live and in person. Don't worry, I am going to go over a full live example um, A to Z of setting up a campaign and retouch on all these points that I'm trying to really drill and embed into you guys um, as you're going through this training. So, first and foremost, we've, we've gone through the rest of it. So here we are, almost time to place the order. I would, you want to keep your campaign separate, I'll probably blur this out, but you can see I've got tons of campaigns here, and you see the size of this drop down, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, about 20 of them right there. You create a new one, you know, you can just simply name it here is a new test 1A, maybe something like that. And then you decide what your budget is per day or lifetime budget. I usually start between 10 and 20 bucks on each test. Now another thing I do is within each campaign, I will add in several subs. And so how I will filter that is the, the main campaign, or the very first one that I do, will be the very, okay, the very first um, campaign would be like this. It would be, let's say I'm targeting 80,000 estimated reach, okay, 80,000 people and it's seven, between age 17 and 19. So my very first campaign would be touching on 17 and 19, reaching 80,000. Campaign sub one, or the, the very first one under that same campaign would be age 17, second one age 18, third one age 19. So do you see what I'm doing there? And this is just good to keep um, for structure. So the very first one is like an overview um, campaign, right? It's targeting the full span of age 17 and 19. The, the first sub is a specific, second specific, third specific. So what I'm allowing to happen within that one campaign is I'm fully testing that entire uh, range of demographics, okay? Now you could do that with multiple elements, okay? What I do is I separate all of them. So let's say I'm testing age demographics on uh, these five campaigns here, well then I'll switch and I'll do those same age demographics but I'll switch them with their, I'll switch out the interests and I'll test out different interests on each one. And so that'll be a different interest on that same setup. So a different interest on a campaign with four um, actual ads running. The 17 and 19, 17, 18, then 19. Okay, so then there's that, let's say with the interest of Play-Doh. Um, that with the interest of Zanga, that with the interest of XYZ. And so do you see how you could really refine this? But just try to keep it structured so that you're not getting lost within your own system and you're like, wait, what was this ad again? And putting like completely different ads in the same category or campaign group, that's a no-no. That's a big mistake because that's how you get lost with these things. And then you can't really see them running side by side either. So I would definitely suggest from a structure standpoint of getting a system down. That's the system I use and it works really, really well for me. Um, you might have something different. I always put run continuously starting today because uh, you can always go back and pause it. You can pause individual campaigns under this umbrella or you can pause the whole thing. And then let's say I've done no demographic research. Um, you know, Here we are at cost per click. I would not do 227. I do between a five and 10 cent um, of this. So you know, maybe like one, 79 is what I would bid. I never do what they have suggestively filled out in here because there's no reason for that. And you'll actually pay that in some of the clicks. Or let's say I have something tweaked and here is CPM and you see it's 43 cents to 70 uh, to 76 cents. You see here it's per 1,000 impressions currently. So this, don't let this, <laughs> don't let this fool you, okay? I know what you're thinking. You're like, oh wow, Jameson, this stuff is so much cheaper. But per 1,000 impressions, let's say you go through you know, 20,000 impressions and you get four clicks, or you get two clicks, one click, what then? You know, you could get real, like I, like I bring up in that video, in that uh, slideshow, is you can get real, real bad out of this, real bad numbers. So again, you wanna make sure that you've got some sort of demographics or some direction that you're going in this thing before you try and fire off CPM. And that wraps up this video.